How much nutrient should farmers use to help their crops without contributing to runoff? U.S. Department of Agriculture researcher Eaton Codling is trying to answer that question at the Agricultural Research Service facilities in Beltsville, Maryland. The plants only take up so much, okay? So you do not want to apply excess of any nutrients. So you, that's why you do your soil tests to find out how much the plant needs and apply it accordingly. At USDA test plots, Codling is studying the use of byproducts like poultry litter ash and gypsum as crop nutrients. These contain phosphorus and calcium, which are common ingredients in many fertilizers. He says these could be cheaper alternatives for farmers. We would encourage farmers to utilize these amendments, these byproducts, because today most of it is landfill and, and they have values. However, Codling wants to make sure farmers only use enough to help their crops without excess remaining in the soil and running off. He is studying how much phosphorus and nutrients wheat plants can take up from these materials. He hopes the results will provide guidelines for farmers as to how much they can effectively and safely use. They have nutrient values to help build the soil, and I believe that if we utilize these materials safely in the environment, find which of them is safe to use and use them in agriculture, I think it's beneficial just, just to farmers as well as to the environment. In Beltsville, Maryland, I'm Bob Ellison for the U.S. Department of Agriculture.